Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Elevate Your Event Experience webinar. My name is Jenna Maxfield, and I am a Senior Solutions Consultant at Cvent. With me, we also have John Taylor, who is a Regional Sales Executive. Just to go over a few housekeeping items before we start, on the right side of your screen in the Attendee Hub, you can join the chat. You can submit questions in the Q&A and please also fill out the survey. We appreciate all feedback so we can continue to improve our webinars. You'll also find the ability to register for any of our upcoming webinars. And to download the slide deck from today's presentation, click the details link on the bottom right, then the view full session details link. Finally, we hope you take advantage of our coffee gift card for registering for this webinar. So to give some background into Cvent, we were founded in 1999 and have been growing ever since. We are a full event management platform, but today we'll primarily focus on four key areas which make up the day of the event. Now, before we do, I wanted to take a few minutes to analyze the attendee journey. There are so many different touch points that the attendee makes before getting on site. They need to receive communication about the event, register, book travel, and so much more. So let's talk about the post-registration experience first. Cvent's Attendee Hub is made up of two different components. We have the Attendee Hub website, as well as the Attendee Hub event app. One is a web experience, the other is an app. Think of this as an extension of registration where you can have access to all of the event information and also take different actions. So you can start to do things like build and modify your agenda, access content that's been added to the sessions like we have for this webinar today, as well as see any speaker and sponsor information that's associated to each session. If you have exhibitors or sponsors, profiles can be set up so attendees can see more information about the exhibitors. Maybe see who's attending as a booth staff or see a floor plan of where exhibitors will be located. Taking that one step further, we also have appointments. So this is a great way for your attendees to engage with one another and start networking. So we don't limit you to one type. Planners do have the power to create appointment types that will fit their event best. So attendee networking, exhibitor appointments, and appointments with your sales teams are all great examples. Lastly, our exhibitor management portal is meant to be an easy self-service option to register booth staff, manage appointments, and get Cvent's Lead Capture tool up and running. So with Lead Capture, our exhibitors, or this allows your exhibitors to seamlessly collect leads and fill out a custom qualification survey for each interaction that they have. All of these leads will then sync back to the portal for easy access during or after the event. So with that, I'll pass things over to John to talk through our on-site solutions. Thanks, Jenna. It's time. When the attendees arrive at your event, you want to deliver a meaningful event experience with engaging sessions, on-site check-in, and ways to keep attendees informed and on track. The next stage of the hybrid event attendee journey is the day of the event. First off, we'll take a look at Cvent Health Check. It's fully integrated with your event. Cvent Health Check powered by ID.me. This allows attendees to verify their vaccine and or testing information pre-event. It also provides daily health screening questionnaires and or testing results. This custom solution allows vaccine tests and health screenings to be verified at a glance right from a mobile device with attendee privacy in mind. The tool has government level security and prevents you from having to co-market your attendees with other solutions. It all shows as verified on a single screen for ease of use for both attendees and you as the event host. In-person attendees can also use contactless check-in to scan into your event along with printing their badges. This allows them to check into your event safely. You can also manage session capacities by scanning attendees into their respective sessions. They can also use our maps feature on the app to find their way around the venue and find your check-in desk. Virtual attendees can check into sessions along with having their attendance recorded right there in the platform for you to record on. First off, we're gonna take a look at the thermal printing option. This is our most common type of on-demand printing. It's fast, cost-effective, cheap, 
perforated tickets for promos or drinks, uh, single-sided or double-sided. There's many options in three by four, four by six, uh, any kind of double-sided badging scenarios. You can duplicate your nameplate, meaning you can have names on both sides of the badge. We have specific logic that can be tied in here too um, to make it as specific to your attendee needs. Another feature that we have here for the thermal option is the tear resistant badge. Uh, this is also double sided. You can have color graphics pre printed. It does print in black on demand. Uh, the great thing about this is that there's no badge holder required. So as you get your badge, you'll be able to fold that and clip that right there on the lan lanyard as well. Uh, it's also another cost effective uh, and but also reduces the use of plastic as well. Uh, just like our previous thermal badge, we, this does come in the 4x3 or 4x6, single or double-sided. Now, for those scenarios where you want to have more of the advanced printing, uh, we do have our on-demand color paper option. This is aligned with our sustainable. So if you're looking for more sustainability around your event, the on-demand color paper option is a great direction. Uh, we also do have the large format PVC. Uh, both do have the single-sided and double-sided. The PVC option does print on a single side on site, uh, but you can also have the agenda pre-printed on the back side here. It provides a high quality fill, very professional. Uh, you can also add images uh, to meet any kind of security requirements there as well. Next, we're gonna talk about the different uh, chip technologies. So for any kind of real-time attendance tracking, uh, we do also have RFID, NFC chip, uh, which is nice for our tap and go system. This helps you to keep a track of where attendees are throughout the event venue. It does provide you more of a passive tracking system for your attendees, uh, but we also do have the scanning option as well, which we'll cover. Speaking of the real-time attendance tracking, we'll talk about the RFID option. So once an attendee has checked in, the question becomes, where did they go? The bulk of your attendees' time is typically spent in sessions throughout your event, but it is hard to know if attendees actually show for them, unless you're leveraging on-arrival session check-in, which provides an easy-to-use scanner, allowing you the ability to track uh, session traffic, co conversions from those who registered uh, to those who actually checked in and attended. You can also use the unobtrusive RFID technology, which you see on the screen here, to track the attendees as they enter a session room. And we also have several tiers of both session attendance and event level tracking uh, that we'll not dive into today. Uh, but your CVN team will work with you to scope out which tier is best for your events and ensure the right resources are allocated to make your event a success. Next, we'll talk about access control, one of the main features in on arrival. Uh, this allows you to collect your attendees' registration beforehand. Uh, you can also segment out your attendees if you wanted to on the back end, manually on their behalf. Uh, but essentially here, these attendees, once they register for the session, you'll then be able to set up access control to either allow them or not allow them to a certain session. Uh, here, I'll be able to scan a badge. And in this case, when I scan a DTS uh, badge, I'll then be able to see if he's checked in uh, is he not allowed to be checked into this session? Is he not allowed to register for this session? Uh, we can also receive notifications to let you know that this attendee has checked in, which really falls into that security parameter where if you need to allow attendees to check in multiple times, we can allow you to do that. Um, but also you can safeguard that so they don't leave the event, give that badge to someone else, and then also check in as that person. Additionally, we also have signature collection. So at the time of check-in for the event, that individual can sign off on any kind of, kind of terms and conditions. If you need to collect that, um, that can be collected through the kiosk version or even the handheld device. Now, what are our counts? Uh, looking at on arrival, and we'll, we'll dive a little bit into the reporting aspect. Uh, right here on site, you'll be able to see on your mobile device, your personal device, the devices that you're using at the event for check-in, exactly how many counts uh, for each of your individual sessions, uh, responses for different surveys, all of those metrics will be available for you, say, check-ins over time. Uh, we can provide here now data as well. So maybe you have a fire marshal that shows up on site. Uh, you'll be able to provide exactly how many people are in a given room at a given time. And what's great about this is that you can share these metrics with anyone within your device here. 
And with that, let's go ahead and take a look at a video here. Thanks, John. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. We are going to continue to talk about the on-site experience and we are coming back to the event app for this. So now that your attendees are on site, they've checked in, they've gotten their badge, they can leverage the app for so many different reasons. First and foremost, this acts as the true event guide, which can be changed and updated in real time. So no more paper schedules or event packets that you might be used to today. Attendees have the ability to see their personalized schedules, which will house any sessions that they've registered for, as well as any appointments that they've booked. Within each session, we also have various engagement features like live Q&A and polling. So feel free to submit those questions in the Q&A so you can see that that live experience take place today. So with live Q&A, we can set up moderators so they can really filter through those questions that are coming through. And you can also answer those as written responses as well. Polling, we can have multi or single select choice questions to poll your audience and again, get them engaged. And then as part of our attendee hub web, we have that session chat that you're also utilizing today. Planners can also configure an in-app game to generate more app adoption by gaining points for different actions within the app. This will generate a leaderboard and add a fun competitive element to the event. Now, my favorite feature is going to be our ability to send out notifications. So these notifications can be pre-scheduled or manually sent. So you're prepared for really any scenario that might come up at your event. Now that the event is complete, what happens next? So we'll really start to move into that post event phase here. So feedback is going to be really important, especially nowadays. So with our survey tool, we can collect feedback as soon as the event is complete. This can be on the event level or on the session level. And we can also send out certificates or award credits once this, is, once this has been filled out. Now, what happens if attendees want to review the content that they saw at the event? You can post these videos as on-demand content within the Attendee Hub web and attendees can view any of these on-demand content that's been posted. All of these clicks and views are being tracked behind the scenes. So planners have access to pull these metrics and share these with event stakeholders. We can also see these stats directly within our on arrival tool. So this really helps planners get an idea of peak check-in times or maybe which sessions were the most popular. As mentioned, these actions and clicks can be tracked, and there are so many different touch points that the attendee makes throughout the entire event lifecycle. So again, they've registered, they've accepted appointments, they've logged into the event app, maybe they've attended a session. So all of this can generate what we refer to as our engagement score. Similar to gamification, you can assign points for different actions that the attendee takes throughout the event. But this way, it's a little bit more of the behind the scenes um, number. So you can then start to track this in your event reports. And this will really rank your attendees from most engaged to least engaged. And you can even drill down this data to which companies were the most engaged. 
Lastly, all of this data can be directly integrated with marketing tools and CRMs. So all of this data can automatically push over to the tools that you use the most. I'll now pass things back to John to talk through some of our service offerings. Thanks, Jenna. And as you can see here, looking at OnArrival 360, this provides you that higher level support uh, for on-site management. It has all of the same functionality as OnArrival Premium, but you do get an assigned project manager. You have the same hardware that's available there. We cover the different badges that are available there for advanced printing, PVC option, uh, but you also get the on-site tech staff as well. Uh, as you can see here, we, we were hosted uh, 48,000 on-arrival events through our system. We had 15 million attendee check-ins. Uh, we were also in 100 different countries as well. And then as you can see here, we had 98% overall customer satisfaction. And as we mentioned before, it's really one solution for your entire event program. From those low complexity events, we have our event in a box with On Arrival Premium. This is our self-service solution where you'll then be able to either rent or purchase an event in a box. Really nice if you have maybe just one or two events throughout the, the year. You can think about purchasing if you have multiple events, roadshows throughout the year. Uh, and that provides you, like I said, that self-service option. Uh, we also do talk about a little bit more about the high complexity events where we will look at our on arrival 360 um, service from here you'll be able to utilize this for any events that you have over 500 attendees uh, like we, we saw previously we have the different badges that are available from the color on demand uh, the pvc option as well you have the assigned project manager on site we provide the on-site tech staff we will essentially work with you and understand your needs from your side and make sure that there is a, a successful event on your end. Summarize everything we went through today and why we think about Steven as uniquely positioned to help you with all of your event needs, just take a uh, look at this slide. We offer one platform to manage all aspects of your event, from event marketing, registration, and a website, to hosting the virtual experience, providing ROI to exhibitors, and collecting even feedback from our, our, our survey responses not to mention a native mobile app as a second way to engage with the event. Our platform can be used for any event type, whether virtual, in-person, or hybrid. And by having one system to record all of your events, you can compare up apples to apples and optimize and grow your events program. Our technology can support streaming content like a webinar or hosting collaborative breakout sessions. And at every single touch point, Steven is collecting data to help you build a complete profile of your event attendee. And not, let's not forget about our exhibitors and sponsors who play a crucial role in the success of your events. We have all the tools that you need to engage them, provide them with the value that they are seeking. And last but not least, with your virtual event 360 services. Um, they are available to help you plan and execute a professional virtual event. And we also have our award-winning thousand uh, person customer success team that's available 24 seven to assist you. And thank you everyone for your time today. That concludes our presentation. Uh, before we look at uh, any kind of upcoming webinars, we wanted to remind you that we have a survey for you to take today. Uh, we, we appreciate any kind of feedback that you have, any suggestions that you have for any upcoming sessions, uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, anything that you would like us to include. We would love your feedback there. Uh, we will also take a look at the upcoming webinars here. As you can see here, we have a webinar on June 1st, which will go through and guide to innovative event tech with guest chat GBT. And on June 8th, we'll step into the future with machine learning and AI. And before we wrap up today, we'll, we'll go ahead and pass it over to you all for any kind of questions that you have, and we'll try to best answer those for you today. We had a few questions come through. All right, I think the first one we got was, is live Q&A feature in app only available for hybrid or can you use this feature for only in-person events? you can use them for both. So both virtual, both in-person, and then for those hybrid events. So any and every scenario, you are welcome to use that live Q&A feature. Yeah, 
I see the second question here. Uh, do you have any solutions that track checkouts? Um, that's the great thing with on arrival is that you can quickly switch over from check in mode where you're checking in attendees to the sessions that you're, you're, you're hosting. Um, you can quickly switch it over to checkout mode, which you would follow the same process there. So on arrival has um, both the check in feature and checkout feature there. Uh, I, I think it's Jaylene. Um, but yes, uh, we do have that feature available for you as well. I see another question here. Uh, which events are great for on arrival 360? Um, really any any events from simple to more complex events on arrival 360 can be a good fit for you all. Uh, maybe you have simple or complex needs around the event. It can have advanced badging like we saw in the presentation, the PVC badges, color badges that would require the OA360 services. But uh, there's many times where clients may just want someone on site for support or any kind of how to, how to do this, any kind of strategic planning. Um, a lot of those scenarios can also call for on arrival 360. And uh, we'll also put in the chat here uh, uh, an article over to our document that kind of goes through the different services for on arrival. Um, feel free to check that out with you all. I see uh, another question here. Uh, what type of support options are available for on arrival? Uh, well, with on arrival 360, you do have that assigned project manager to your, your team for your event. Uh, they'll go through a series of check-in calls to make sure that everything is well-rounded before the event. Uh, say you're using the on arrival basic or premium services, which is more so the self-service option. Uh, you do have your, your dedicated account team here for any kind of assistance on that side to kind of correlate with any team members on our side to assist with anything that you have, um, along with our, our 24 by 7 customer support option as well. I think we got another question. Are there features in the app that can address accommodations for gender neutral restrooms, pair rooms, sensory spaces, et cetera? So yes, with our floor plan, you can essentially tag sessions, tag exhibitors, and then tag points of interest. So if there are those accommodations that you wanted to tag to that specific floor plan, absolutely, it's just an open tag. So you can do gender neutral restrooms or whatever um, accommodations that are available. So definitely you can include those um, as part of the floor plan. And to kind of follow up on that too, I think check-in questions, terms and conditions, the signature collection, if you need to collect any kind of preferences going into the event, those are also great options as well to accommodate them. All right, another one that came through. Will attendees only see sessions they're eligible to attend when they look in the event app? Yes, so this will tie into registration. So if you are only creating sessions that are available to certain registration types, those are the only ones that they are going to see in the app. So it does continue that flow of, you know, who's eligible to go to certain sessions. So all of those registration rules will carry over to the app. Another one, when a notification is sent, does the attendee need to be in the app to see it? Not necessarily. So the planner has two options. They can send an in-app notification, meaning the attendee will have to be in the app in order to see that. There's going to be a little number icon to let the attendee know that they do have a notification. And then the second option is a true push notification. So just like we're probably used to today, if you get a notification, your notifications are turned on for a certain app, it might pull up on your homepage or pull up as a banner, again, whatever your phone settings are. So they do not necessarily need to be in the app to get notified. I 
see one here. Do we need to be using CVent uh, registration in order to use on arrival? Um, as much as we do encourage you to use CVent for registration to collect the, the registrations coming in, it does provide that seamless integration over to on arrival as they are built under the same platform. Uh, but yes, you can actually use another source for registration, whether that's a, another system, maybe you're using Excel, maybe you're just sending out paper invites, whatever it might be. Uh, we can also use on arrival as a standalone method as well. Um, we can absolutely be here for support and kind of encouraging on, on how to do everything there. Uh, but yes, you can use it with registration or you don't have to use registration with on arrival. And then are you able to differentiate what a user can see slash have access to on the app based on their level of attendance? So I'll kind of position this in a few different ways. Um, if they're in person versus virtual, so if it is going to be a true hybrid event, again, they can see different sessions. You can also limit page visibility. So in the app and on the Attendee Hub web, you do have the ability to create custom pages and you can change visibility. Obviously, frequently asked questions and some content is not going to be relevant for um, you know, virtual versus that in-person experience. So you could definitely change the experience and what content they see as well as those different sessions. So I know I kind of alluded to that um, in the previous question, that it will stay in line with the registration type that they have registered with during that registration experience. So again, they can see a completely different agenda, see completely different content um, based on how they're attending. I think that is it. So thank you all so much for attending. Again, we'll go ahead and write some written responses in there with some additional material and some additional collateral that you can review. But thank you so much for attending. See you next time. Thanks, everyone.